specifically we are talking about a local business brody's custom clothing printing and provisions and join us here on the splash live now uh to talk about his owner of brody's custom clothing and provisions and inventive studios marketing and design we have brett panter join us on the splash live right now thank you so much for joining us brett good morning absolutely man thank you for being here now we want to highlight your business specifically now we're talking about brody's custom clothing printing and provisions been in business operating since 1969. Can you just talk about how Brody's has evolved from a small tailor shop 1969 to where it is now? Actually, uh, you know, the history of the, the store actually falls back into Detroit when it was uh, knee-high uh, socks in a tailor shop. So we're almost uh, heading into about 100 years. Uh, but in its modern-day form, uh, wow. we're probably about the fourth generation of owners with this company. Um, and it's kind of been a West Bloomfield staple for a long time. Started... Uh, um, in Oak Park with the Schindler family, um, which uh, we purchased this uh, company out here in West Bloomfield in September of 22 to kind of keep the uh, legendary business alive. Uh, we're known for, uh, used to be known for uh, the Husky uh, husky uh, clothing for a lot of the boys. And uh, we've kind of, and also the uh, camp bags, uh, you can see right over here over my shoulder. Uh, we're known legendary. We sell those all across the country. Um, and uh we're also pretty much known for now where we're getting more into the customized clothing for your business for your teams team clothing team wears so on and so forth uh mm. if you can print it uh we're graphic designers here so we're always here to help you out with my uh business partner uh abby steibel beautiful beautiful we got a lot going on ultimately in it and, and over the years and the decades like you said, it, there has been an evolution ultimately, but now, like you said, you're doing different custom clothing, you're supporting teams and things of that nature and companies and brands. What ultimately motivated that shift to focus on now custom clothing for brands, teams and things of that nature? You know, there's such a high demand for it right now, um, and it's fun. Yep. Uh, it's very yep. That really kind of uh, kind of feeds into the business quite a bit. Um, you know, it's been a big mm -hmm. shift from uh, formal uh, gatherings for the bar bar mitzvahs where the kids used to wear suits and, uh, you know, and other confirmations. Um, and it just evolved. Now it's all about the hoodies and sweatshirts and uh, gym shoes these days. So, uh, <laughs> know, yeah, right? so we've kind of evolved and, yeah, <laughs> got to move with the times. So, <laughs> No, that's a fact. It's interesting how you brought it up because when you look at the older pictures from old, so like it doesn't even matter almost where they used to wear suits. They used to get real dapper, men, yep. women, boys, girls, and nowadays, like you said, it's just it's just throwing a hoodie and just keep it moving. Also, it, but yeah, it's, I get it. You kind of you're, you're going with the times in the crowd. Yep, please, yep. please. Yeah, it's it's been unbelievable. Um, you know, I've been a graphic design. I've been doing graphic design for about 32 years. Worked out of in the radio and marketing business. So this has kind of been a a uh, great transition oh. for us. Um, and we also had a small uh, marketing business, kind of like a stay at home, raise your kids type of thing and just needed to get out of the house. And when the opportunity of when Brody's uh, went up for sale, uh, we kind of, kind of, you know, grabbed it as, uh, you know, as quickly as we could and kind of worked it out and yeah. tried to keep this alive. Cause it's, it's amazing. I'll, you know, you're working in here and you'll have people wandering in here in their well under the sixties and they just, they're, they're so reminiscent. Um, and, and they love the feeling that they just, they see, uh, you know, this place is still active, running, busy. It is, you know, it's a workshop. Um, I always say it's the dog and pony mm -hmm. show, you know? So when you come in and, you know, my, my staff is always here to, uh, you know, give you a big smile and help you out and whatever we can do for you. Love to hear that and see that man, because ultimately, like you say, it's a staple in the community. You're keeping it there. You're keeping it thriving and going and, and people that's familiar with the community and you know, from when it, where it used to be, they can come in and still, like you said, reminisce and, and you just add mm. that newer flair, that more modern touch to it and things of that nature, man. Congratulations mm. oh, for all your success. Absolutely. Join us again right here on the splash live owner of brody's custom clothing and provisions as well as eventive studios marketing and design we have brett panther joining us talking about his 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 uh his businesses and the support from the community as well as how he supports the community and i want to talk about the eventive studios marketing part of it so 
would that be considered the graphic design portion of it? Or let me just give you the opportunity to explain the event of studios portion of it and how you kind of collaborate that with Brody's custom clothing. So event of studios, uh, being a graphic designer, it's something that, uh, the concept name came up by with my business partner, uh, Abby Steibel. Um, and we were pretty much catering okay. to like nonprofits helping, uh, ha helping with like campaign materials, printing, uh, we work with a lot of different print shops around town uh, so we can handle the mass mailings, printing. Um, we used to do websites, but I had a, you know, it was either doing doing shirts and clothing or websites. So, you know, there's uh, only time right, for so right. much. But any of the printing material, mm -hmm. um, anything very specific when you need that really white glove type of service, um, we're here for you. And that's exactly what Event of and with Bro and we're kind of carrying that over to Brody's too. It's still that, you know, you're not working online, you're you're working hands on to get your idea in print. What type of challenges are you facing now, Brett? Uh, owning a brick and mortar, doing custom clothing in West Bloomfield, as well as graphic design. What challenges are you facing as a business owner with all of that being said? Well, I think it's the biggest challenge is basically kind of updating and being modern in the times and then trying to be competitive with, um, you know, with the online market. Uh -huh. um, you know, we're just, mm -hmm. you know, we're trying to always give people, keep your prices fair, uh, keep your prices down trying to keep everything a good value. But yet, on the other hand, making sure that I have competent staff, um, making sure that I have, uh, you know, um, you know, we're, we're kind of keeping everything level and, you know, kind of keeping the, the need um, out there so we can service this community. Right. Okay, so with that being said, I brought up a great point. With that being said, Brett, that kind of means like you, you have to make your presence known. You have to stand mm -hmm. out in the community with that being said. Can you just talk about how important community engagement is for your business in order to also just, you know, like you said, stand out in the community? Yeah, we, we I mean, one, one thing we do is like we always like to, you know, we love working with the charities. We love working with uh, and kind of giving back if we can um, in the program. So if there's like a, a school team and they're trying to fundraise and raise money. You know, we can kind of, right. you know, adjust those prices and kind of give them, you know, kind of give, give it a good back. Um, you know, we're able to help them, you know, maybe if there's a small business, you know, we, we have a marketing background. So uh, helping those small businesses launch, um, you know, we want to give back too. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's feast mm -hmm. or famine when it comes down to it. And we want, you know, and we understand the needs um, when a small business, what it's like to start up or you're existing. Um, that's been a lot of my personal background. Um, and uh, and I love doing that. And that's right there is such a reward when, you know, that customer keeps coming back and we go, oh, thank you so much for that idea. Mm -hmm. or, I love how mm -hmm. you're helping us brand, you know. Um, and that's, 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 yeah, you know, that's meaningful, man. That's, that's just exactly where we want to be in life. Right. Word of mouth, man. Every business owner appreciate those yeah. word of mouth referrals because they go the furthest. There's no marketing dollars behind that. It's just you mm -hmm. taking care of the customer, doing your best like you're supposed to, treating them with integrity, and then they're going and spreading the good news of the service that you just provided. Brett, great information, great insight. Any additional information that you want to get out to the community regarding your business, tell them why they should come and support Brody's Custom Clothing. We're, we're, you know what, it's, it's a local business and local businesses feed a lot of families. You know, I look at my employees, they're just like my kids. You know, I got to help them put food on the table, mm. gas in the gas tank, um, you know, keep up uh, good morale. Uh, and I just, you know, you know, I think that's just important and that's being responsible. And I think when, when, a, when a customer comes in and knowing that, you know, this is what they, by shopping with us or using our services, this is what they're supporting. They're just not finding some, right. you know, company right. out of out of country or using somebody that's out of mm -hmm. uh, out of the country or out of state. You're you're keeping the dollars right here, and that's really important. Shop local. Correct. Shop local, support local, all of the above, and we love that, and we love to support Brody's Custom Clothing, Printing, and Provisions, L located 6702 Orchard Lake Road, just south of Maple Road. Thank you again, Brett Panther, for joining us, owner of Brody's Custom Clothing, Preventing, uh, Provisions, and Inventive Studios Marketing and Design. We appreciate your time again. Thank you. Right. Thank you.